uh, the head of the uh, DUP. Thank you very much, Shankar. Um, can I first of all apologize to colleagues for uh, missing what they had to say? She still has a withdrawal agreement, which will not uh, gain the support of the House of Commons. And, and why is that the case? Because when we told her uh, in December that we could not support this deal, it was because the backstop uh, was uh, something that we could not accept. Uh, it does violence uh, to the union. Uh, it separates us uh, from the rest of the United Kingdom in a very, very obvious way. And of course, that was confirmed by the Attorney General in his legal advice. So we said to the Prime Minister that she needed to, our preference, get rid of the backstop and have a withdrawal agreement that could be lived with. Unfortunately, I don't even think that the Prime Minister asked to get rid of the backstop. Uh, she has asked for a, a range of issues, and we've seen the result of that yesterday with the letter from uh, the European Union. But of course, that does not change the withdrawal agreement, which, as we all know, is an international treaty. And therefore, we will not be able to support the withdrawal uh, agreement today. And I regret that, because I want a deal with the European Union. You know, as someone who lived through the Troubles, we never had a hard border. There were 20,000 uh, soldiers in Northern Ireland, and they couldn't hermetically seal the border in Northern Ireland. So it is a bit of a nonsense, frankly, to talk about a hard border. What we should be looking at are ways to use technology. And I know some people get very uptight when we talk about technology, but we are living in the modern world. We should be using uh, technology, we should be using our intelligence, we should be using risk analysis in terms of uh, the single market, which they want to protect, I understand that. Uh, but you know, to suggest that we will have a return to the borders of the past, when of course the borders of the past were there for a completely different reason. They were there to stop terrorists, they were there to stop the flow of semtex Semtex as opposed to the flow of powdered milk. For me, we need to choose reason and choose hope as opposed to choosing fear and narrowness and look to the future in a very positive way and see and be proud of our nation, be proud of who we are in, in a global uh, community. So for me, we will not be able to support this withdrawal agreement today. What we want the Prime Minister to do after today is to go back to the European Union and say that the backstop has to go. And it has to go because it doesn't have any meaning in terms of what it's trying to do, but instead it separates Northern Ireland from Great Britain in a very real and tangible way.